Hi guys, this is Fred from WP Shout. I'm going to be showing you how to migrate a site that's hosted on SiteGround over to SSL uh, using um, SiteGround's free Let's Encrypt SSL certificates. Now, I've already done this for a, a couple of our sites. I did it for WP Shout um, last night. So you see if I go to WP Shout, it automatically redirects to, to HTTPS. And yeah, it's a, it's a private connection that Chrome likes and everything. And I also did it for our agency site, PressUp. And you see it's the same thing. If I type in just www.pressup, it, it goes straight to the SSL version. So what I'm going to be doing is live doing this for, um, for another site that we operate called WP Business Tips. And um, it's, there's some problem solving that goes in it. So I wanted to show you sort of how I do this live and how I, how I problem solve live so that when you hit this same issues, you can, um, you can actually solve the problems. So there might be some minutes of me like staring at my screen because I don't understand what's going on and stuff. And uh, so this is, yeah, just, just know that going in um, because my intent is to show you how I problem solve um, in real time. So we're going <laughs> to log into our SiteGround account here. And what we're going to do is to actually put SSL on, I'm going to go to the C panel here. And to actually put SSL on a site is super easy. Um, you just have to find Let's Encrypt, which I think yeah, is in security. And uh, we just choose a domain, which in this case is going to be wpbusinesstips.com. And we'll let that email be what it is. That's fine. We go ahead and install it. And it's this takes about 30 seconds in my experience. Verify domain, calling Let's Encrypt, generating key. OK. Starting new HTTPS connection. Cleaning up challenges. <laughs> OK. Reporting to user. Installing certificate in cPanel. All right, good. So that is it. And now if you look at HTTPS, WP Business Tips, which didn't exist until just now, it exists. Um, now, you'll notice a couple things. The, the uh, certificate is not great because there's mixed content, and I'll show you what that means. So uh, basically, the site itself has a valid certificate, but there's a lot of HTTP resources still on the site because, um, uh, because all of the image links specifically are, are just hard coded HTTP colon colon slash colon slash slash WP business tips .com. So it says reload to view details. So we're going to do that. And it's going to give us a list of the insecure of the insecure stuff. So um, we're loading some Google fonts insecurely and some things from this URL itself. And if we look, we can see what uh, what's insecure. So uh, We've got an insecure image, uploads, biz tips, logo, tagline. We've got an insecure image, ebook cover. So we're going to have to change those things. And what I want to do first is I want to change all HTTP references to HTTPS references in the database. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a script called search replace DB uh, two. Um, it's just a simple PHP script that lets you um, uh, replace values in a WordPress or any other MySQL database. And you can find it on, I've just got, I've had it locally for, for a long time, but let's just find it online just so you know what I'm talking about. Search replace DB2. Um, yeah, I think this is it. So, yeah. Um, you just you just download this. Uh, you, really, it's just this this PHP script, 
And what I did is I FTP'd it to the root of my WP Business Tips directory. So if we go to wpbusinesstips.com slash search replace db2.php, this is the script that loads up. And you just click through the first few options. It's just loading itself up with database details. And it says, do you want to do all tables? Yes, we want to do all tables. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do two, we're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace all instances of HTTP WP Business Tips with HTTPS everywhere in the WordPress database. So let me make sure I type that right. Yep, that looks good. So we're going to submit search string. And it says, do you really want to do this? Why is it asking me that? It's asking me that because if I do this wrong, I will absolutely destroy my entire site because all of the, for example, all of the links are going to be to something that doesn't exist. Like if I wrote WP Business Tips without an N or something, it would like it would wreck the site. It would be an easy problem to fix, but um, this is rewriting database values across your entire database, and it's very possible to just brick your site doing that. So be careful when you're uh, when you're using this script. So yes, great. So we changed three thousand hard coded references to HTTP colon slash slash WP business tips over to HTTPS references. Now I have to do one other thing, which is it may be the case that I wrote with the WWW as well. So I just back navigated. We're, we're now on the previous step of this, of the tool. And I'm just going to do the same thing with WWW as well. Okay. It looks like it didn't catch anything. So, so, uh, so nothing there. All right. So let's see what the result of that was. Uh, if we load up HTTPS WPBusinessTips.com, now the uh, certificate looks good on the homepage. It's not complaining about any. Um, uh, it's not complaining about any insecure resources, um, which is great. So, but here's the other thing: we haven't redirected WP Business Tips. Um, to HTTPS, I believe if I type in just www, I can yeah I can still get the insecure version of the page. There is no SSL um, on this uh, um, on this version of the page because we haven't specified that we always want this to redirect over to a, to the secure version to the HTTPS version. And so what we need to do for that is a 301 redirect, and we're going to do it in the HT access file of our site. So the HT access file lives um, at the root where all your main WordPress folders live. It's just called .ht access, and um, this is what it looks like by default. This is just WordPress sort of default redirect rules. But we're going to have to add a new one that um, that also redirects any insecure um, insecurely written URL over to the HTTPS version. So uh, I basically I, I don't know a lot about HT access about like writing HT access rules. So I just had to search Stack Overflow post until I found one that works. This one works, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you the the URL to the Stack Overflow post so that you guys. So that you can find this when it's when you're doing this yourself. Let's see. Um, let me just search my Stack Overflow history. Um, let's see. Two days ago. Let's see. Let's just search my entire history here. Search replace. Google Calendar. <laughs> uh, Let's see. All right, how can I find this for you guys? Rewrite cond um, stack overflow. <laughs> okay, stack overflow HTTP to HTTPS. Let's just see. Um, redirect all HTTP requests to HTTPS. 
Let's see. Yeah, this is similar. Um, sorry, this is taking so long. Uh, why don't I just leave this up on my screen? So basically, um, and I'll also include this in uh, the, the notes um, that go along with this video. So basically, um, this is saying if HTTPS is available. Uh, I actually don't know how to interpret HTTPS HT access rules, but um, this is basically redirecting all traffic over to SSL. Um, and here is where you have to put the, do the domain of your site. So what I pasted in is the rule that's working for PressUp, but we're going to do it for WP Business Tips. And this sort of specifies that it's a 301 redirect, which is what you want. It's permanent, whereas a 302 redirect is like temporary. And it matters for SEO that Google knows that from now on, the real permanent, you know, official version of the site is, is on SSL. So here's this rule. Basically, this should be the same every time. This should all be the same every time, except only the um, only the actual domain name is going to change. So this would be the domain name of your site. All right. And where do you put this? You put it after rewrite engine on and before all the WordPress rules that that are also using this mod rewrite. So yeah, looks like this. We're going to save that and let it go ahead and upload to our WP Business Tips site. And assuming that it's not cached, yeah, so now any t if I type in, OK, let's go to this article. It automatically accesses it securely. And even if I go to article, it still pushes me over to the secure version. So it looks like for WP Business Tips, that's basically the entire process. Um, we just had to. Uh, first activate our certificate for this domain in, in SiteGround. Then we had to um, we had to search and replace through the database for old references to um, to uh, specifically images, but anything that is that was written out by hand HTTP colon slash slash WPBusinessTips.com. We had to change all those to HTTPSs. And the way I did that is with the search replace db2.php tool. Um, and then the last thing we had to do was change our HT access rules to force all insecure traffic over to the secure version, to the secure version of the, uh, of the site. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to do, which is a pretty important step, is to delete search replace db2 out of, out of uh, WP Business Tips because it's a huge security risk. Uh, if you leave it there and somebody knows that it exists because they could just come in and rewrite all your database values and they could do literally anything with your site. So the moment you're done using search replace db2, that you, you, you definitely want to delete it off your site. It's just a, um, it's, it's, it's a real big security exploit if you don't do that. Okay. So WP business tips is now, um, is now on SSL and that took, even with me, um, you know, thinking out loud, that took, what, about 10 minutes, so not too bad at all. Um, great, so uh, I'll post this up on WP Shout. If you guys have any questions at all, I'll be happy to answer. Just comment in the, uh, in the article on which this video appears, and thank you guys so much for listening.